JP Morgan Chase has reached settlements with the U.S. Virgin Islands and former executive Jess Staley to resolve lawsuits over sex trafficking by the disgraced financier Jeffrey Epstein, largely resolving a scandal that has weighed on the largest U.S. bank for months. The settlements conclude the final pieces of litigation in a saga involving women who said Epstein sexually abused them and which embroiled some of the world's most powerful figures in finance and business. JP Morgan said its 75 million settlement with the US VI includes 30 million to support charitable organizations, 25 million to strengthen law enforcement to combat human trafficking, and 20 million for attorney's fees. Terms of the bank's settlement with Staley are confidential. In June, JP Morgan agreed to pay $290 million to resolve claims by dozens of Epstein's accusers. Epstein had been a JP Morgan client from 1998 until 2013 when the bank terminated their relationship. While the settlement does not involve admissions of liability, the firm deeply regrets any association with this man and would never have continued doing business with him if it believed he was using the bank in any way to commit his heinous crimes, JP Morgan said. U.S. VI Attorney General Ariel Smith said the settlement was a historic victory for survivors and for state enforcement, and it should sound the alarm on Wall Street about banks' responsibilities under the law to detect and prevent human trafficking. A trial had been scheduled for October 23.